and welcome back to That's Number One. I'm your host, Alan, as always. So, tonight is game one of the NBA Finals. I've already seen this movie, and I've seen the remake of the movie, which means I've seen the only two ways it could end. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the strengths and weaknesses for every team. The strengths and weaknesses of every team. First off, I'm going to go with the Cavs, is the ability to get to the basket with LeBron. You cannot let him get a full head of steam. If you get let him get a full head of steam before half court, you will not stop him. He will dunk on you. It doesn't matter how big you are. But then we'll go over to Golden State. So Golden State's big advantage is on defense. And that's going to shock a lot of people. Their big advantage is on defense because their help defense is tremendous. It's superb. Their ability to put Draymond Green on the point guard off of a switch and him not miss a beat is incredible. Having Curry guard their center. He Curry can guard the center. They have the ability to put anybody on the court on any given on any player. So it is it's so unfair for an offense because they're not going to double team anybody. They might double team LeBron. But guess what? If they double team LeBron, they're fast enough, they're quick enough and they have the ability to switch before LeBron can do anything. Especially if Kevin Love isn't 100%, and I'll get to that in a second. But, so switching back over to the Cavs, one important note. If Kevin Love is back healthy, I doubt he is, but if Kevin Love is back healthy, then that's a huge advantage for the Cavs. Not because of Kevin Love because of what it brings to the Cavs team. Having those players are saying, hey, we have Love back, we have our mojo back, we got this, we have this. And they will go out and they will get it done. Switch back over to Golden State. So Golden State's offense is tremendous because you have Draymond Green, one of the most confusing players ever, in my opinion. Because some days he won't be able to make a shot, but the other days he'll be able to nail all the threes. Then you have Kevin Durant. In my opinion, one of the three best players in the NBA right now, along with LeBron. And if you don't believe me, I might put this clip in the description, but I'm not going to put it in the video, it'll make people mad, of Kevin Durant popping this three in last year's finals right over LeBron James and LeBron gave him way too much space and that pretty much sealed it so <laughs> and then here here's an important note for Golden State Curry Curry is also very confusing because of the fact that He's kind of hurt, but kind of not hurt. He kind of plays good some days. He kind of doesn't play good some days. I know everyone has their bad days. Don't scream at me in the comments. But I think in order for Golden State to get this W in game, in game one, they're going to need Curry to find his identity and get back to it. If Curry, if you cannot in confidence shoot three-pointers all game like you could before then don't rely on three-pointers fake them left go right pop a pop a mid-range shot just my coach is one of the wisest coaches I've ever met and coach if you're saying this yeah you are one of the wisest coaches he said to me this last season for the good shooters when are good players, when they're not shooting well, when their shots aren't falling, they find a way to stay on the court and to help their team. 
if your shot's not falling, go to the boards. Get rebounds. If you can't get rebounds, you're not physically able to, then you know what you do? You help in the passing game. But overall, help in defense. So, in this game, what do I think is going to happen? I'm not going to tell you who is going to deliver what, but what I'm going to tell you is there's certain keys for each team in order to have their best chance to win. One, the Cavs need love back. That's what they need to do. Once they have Kevin Love, then they'll get their mojo back, then they'll have something to fight for. Number one. Number two, over here. The, they need to stick to their defense. They need to stick to their defensive plan on help defense, not getting worried. And if you want to double team LeBron, double team LeBron. Don't be scared to do it. Have confidence in your players. Back over here. Get to the rebounds. Get the boards. Because guess what? Golden State will hands down whoop you and put on a clinic if you don't get the boards over here. Utilize Draymond Green, Andre Iguodala, and I'm, I can't believe I'm going to say this, Travell McGee on the defense. Because if you can get them shifting constantly and confusing the Cavs, it's going to be really difficult for the Cavs to run their offense. Over here. If your three-point shots aren't falling, don't force them. That's how you almost lost multiple times to the Indiana Pacers. Because you kept forcing these stupid three-pointers. Take it inside. Go back to the basics. Pick and roll. Flash screen. Inside. Slip it. It's pretty easy. Over here. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm making this video. So many people are going to be mad at me. Over here, what you guys need to do for Golden State is they need to make sure they get the ball movement going. Golden State is one of the best teams. They're in the, two, in my opinion, one of the two best teams in the league when they pass the ball. When they do not pass the ball and take these one-pass three-pointers to Draymond Green, that's when they become one of the worst, in my opinion. Because their technique's off, and they will not play defense if you don't pass the ball. So pass the ball. Get it going. It tires out the Cavs. You know LeBron's not fully back. If you don't believe me, go look at this past... Um, stretch and look he went out of the game because he was tired LeBron never goes out of the game because he's tired I think it's four over here I'm not sure but another thing the Cavs need to do give and go drive in and dish Pretty simple, like I said before, it's pretty simple. Just don't complicate it with over aggressive passes and stuff. Because LeBron is supposed to be one of the best passers in the league, but recently he's been trying to make everything all fancy. And you know what happens? The ball flies out of bounds, turnover. Over here. Watch LeBron. Because you know what Jason Tatum did a whole bunch of times in this last stretch with the Celtics? He picked off LeBron a whole bunch of times. You don't believe me? Go back and watch the highlights. And you want to know why, they, why that is? Because it's the same thing I'm going to say in this next part. It is because they force the ball. Don't force it to LeBron. Have confidence in yourself and move the ball and find the open man. Because if two people are on LeBron, you're going to find an open man. But yeah, that was it for this video.